Hello, hello, hello to all of my Scorpios and happy midweek Wednesday to all of my Scorpios. This is Queen Amunra coming to you with your general reading. This reading may go up a day early in some parts of the world, but it may be already Wednesday where you are. But this reading is for the 31st of May through the 30th of June. Let's get into it as we get closer and closer to this full moon in Sagittarius. Love it. I'm talking to you if you have Scorpio anywhere in your chart, not just your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, but anywhere in your chart, Scorpios. Let's go. Here we have the Emperor card right out the gate, the Star card, the Queen of Pentacles. We also have the uh, Page of Pentacles, the Magician card, and also the Wheel of Fortune. So we got a lot of major things that's going on here, a lot of major things that's going on here. So somebody is, the source is saying, put some kind of fire up under yourself. Take more of an authoritative stand like you know towards things that this emperor card is attached to aries you and aries actually share the ruling planet mars mars is the energy planet so source is saying if you feel like you have some energy you know that you want to you know have a a, a positive or you know put good energy towards the things that you want is what source is saying and be hopeful blissful be very positive about the things that you want and so source is giving somebody some time and the messages are coming through they flowing through because I know that because of this card right here, Page of Pentacles, people already see you as this. They see you as an asset to their lives and not a liability to their lives. So if you're in the presence of any energy, like people get so hung up on zodiac signs. I don't like this sign. I don't like that sign. I don't like this sign. Not recognizing that every zodiac sign is unique, right? So even when people have negative the same, like cross watchers have had really negative things to say about Scorpios, I'm like... Please don't put those negative comments under there unless you are coming with some kind of a, this has been my personal experience with a Scorpio and this is my zodiac sign. But a lot of times people will toss everybody into the same category. Oh, I don't like Scorpios because Scorpios is this, that, and the other, so on and so forth. That could have been their experience with this Scorpio, but the next person could have said, no, actually I have a great experience with Scorpios. Like that hasn't been, and they, they work out just fine. So, um... Every zodiac sign is unique in their own way. So that's why I always, you know, kind of sort of push the please pull your birth chart to see what sets you apart from other Scorpios. And again, find out where Scorpio is in your birth chart because um, your sun sign may not be Scorpio. It may not even be in the top area, the sun, moon, rising or Venus, but it can be somewhere else in your birth chart. And so get to know the Scorpio in you. And so source is saying, you know, your default is, is, is a receiver, right? So you have six signs in tropical astrologies that are senders of energy into the universe. And then you got six that are receivers. You're on the receiving sign. So that's earth and water signs on the receiving sign. So if you're picking up good vibrations from energies and you feel like, okay, I feel a little bit more assertive. I can kind of sort of speak up. I feel nurtured in these friendships or relationships. Let me just kind of sort of dip my, my toe in the water. Let me kind of sort of see, you know, I, I observe certain things. Let me, let me, you know, step out on faith and see how things work. You may be pleasantly surprised, Scorpios. And that's what I'm seeing here in your cards. You may be pleasantly surprised. So, and then, of course, you can always go directly to source first, because I'm telling you, this is how people see you. They see you as an asset to their lives, not a liability. And um, and so some people just get along very well. And instead of just going to the compatibility, like the one-dimensional compatibilities, like this sign goes well with that sign, that's not deep enough, because those two signs can get together, and they're like, well, my compatibility chart, the, the, the one-dimensional one, Scorpios get along with other Scorpios. You may be in a relationship with another Scorpio and you can't stand, it's miserable for you. But then another Scorpio comes along, and I'm only using your sign because we're talking about Scorpios. Another sign can come along that's the same as a Scorpio with different, totally different, unique birth chart. And you can say, wow. In this case, we could be talking about an Aquarius or, or uh, Aries. You could get along with either sign very, very well. But you got to know, you also got to be in receiving mode of what are the messages that are coming through to you about these energies, right? And so again, your um, the messages for you, source is saying, I'm trying to give you some time to manifest exactly what you want. The number 10 right here, which is the Wheel of Fortune's number in tarot, 10 is the number of instant manifestation. What do you want to instantly manifest? Speaking into existence, but not just speaking it, take some kind of action. You know, like when people are doing affirmations, the I am affirmations, I am whatever energy you desire to attract. You're not just sitting there just waiting to attract that energy. 
Source is going to send you energies that you desire to attract. The source is also going to test you with energies that you don't desire to attract. You're not just going to sit there and let that sit in your water until you have an intense death rebirth experience. Well, now it's so intense. Oh, my God, why do I keep attracting these types of people when God is like, okay, I've been trying to test you so you can go ahead and take some kind of action. So that's what I'm seeing for you all. So I do see um, here we have the star card again. The star card again, source is saying, take some kind of take some kind of action. Here we have the knight of cups because nobody is coming to save you. This is you got to be your own knight in shining armor. So, so somebody, source is really like trying to tell somebody, take some kind of masculine divine masculine we're not talking about man or woman when we're talking about divine masculine divine feminine we all embody both but source is saying you take some kind you like you initiate some kind of action here we have um the the eight of cups this is where source is saying in your light before you get burned out before you burn yourself out waiting for something to happen this is where somebody's going to have to step out in faith Remember, we're, we're, we're moving towards the full moon in Sagittarius. Sagittarius is literally ruled by the luckiest planet, the, the planet of good fortune, Jupiter, which is the largest planet. And so a source is saying, if you want something, then go after it. Don't wait for it to just come to you. That, for some people, is stepping outside of their comfort zone. So, um, <clears throat> so we also said, we also see... We also see um, you definitely doing some something that is at a higher frequency. Somebody judgment card is attached to one of your ruling planets, Pluto. Source is saying close out that cycle of vibrating on a lower frequency of assuming like assuming the worst about situations. I don't get along with this sign. I don't get along with that sign. You're actually going through a rebirth, and God is saying to you everything is okay. Somebody could literally be looking at their phone like, okay, I should call. I should. I should reach out, but, you know, I, I didn't have the best. If it was a short period of time, and remember, everybody is evolving. Everybody is, you know, evolving to their higher frequency. Then, so it's the saying, shoot your shot. Shoot your shot, you know. Either people can say yes or no. That's it. That's all. Um, and, again, rejection is God's way of protecting you from something, right? And so if you feel like, okay, well, and it's also an opportunity to learn, that's why Source puts people back into people's lives and says, you know, I'm breaking generational cycles, chains, and curses. Also, it could be for somebody, too, like, you could be related to some energies, um, and you're seeing, like, let's say, for instance, Scorpio, you could be the first person in your family that, let me, and this is, this is what's coming through for somebody, so again, only type of resonates with you. You could be the first person in your family that's breaking generational cycles, chains, and curses when it comes to your money, when it comes to security, stability, patience, um, when it comes to um, career success, when it comes to prosperity. You literally could be the first person in your family to be breaking those generational cycles, chains, and curses. And it can also be in the security and the stability area. You could be the first person that gets along with your family or gets along, you know, gets along with your relatives or get along with your parents or get along with your, your kids. Not every parent-child relationship is a healthy one. Some people feel like, you know what, I'm good, you know. And then there's some people that's like, no, let me let me start the conversation. Let let me let's 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 change this. Like let's change this for our family. So whatever the situation is, a lot of people, like I said before, see you, they hold you in very high regard. Um, and so sometimes it's worth a conversation. This is where we have the magician card here, uh, Mercury. We also have the tower card. Yes, yeah, so somebody's definitely having a tower moment. We have the Dame of Swords. We have the Princess of Swords, Knight of Cups again, Ten of Pentacles, and also the Princess of Pentacles. Somebody's having a tower moment. And that tower moment sometimes doesn't feel good if you are used to putting your energy towards things that's negative. But if you're ready to change and you're saying, okay, I'm not going to be fixated on doing things the way I used to do things. I'm going to put my energy towards being hopeful. Like I said before, the star card, especially if you're dealing with somebody who is self-sufficient and you're dealing with somebody who is not after you for money, they're not after you for clout, they're not after They have their own. They have their own security, their own stability, their own everything. And so they're not looking to you for, uh, you know, I got to be standing next to Scorpio, you know, they because they, they need, they don't even know what their purpose is in life. So those are the kind of energies that you want in your life. You know, you want somebody in your life that's just as, 
you know, just as ambitious as you are. You all are a pretty ambitious sign, you know, someone who has their own things going on. And I do see somebody building legacy wealth with someone. So congratulations to you all. We also have the Princess of Pentacles. Um, it could be a youthful energy in your life that's they also building their they're building their wet their wealth as well. The Knight of Cups here. Like I said before, um it's, it could be two energies in particular in your life where where you feel like you know, I need to I need to learn how to um you could have dealt with some people in the past that treated you like you were their savior. Like I gotta ride Scorpio's court coattails. I, I have to um but then in, until you come across somebody who is doing it on their own, you come across somebody who is just as ambitious as you are, someone who are, you know, who can kind of sort of go with your flow and you can go with theirs. So it's always nice when you meet something different where you don't feel like somebody has an ulterior motive where they're just trying to take advantage of you. Here we have the Dame of Swords and also the Princess of Swords. And so, again, Source is saying, get out of the overthinking. Get out of the overthinking. Get out of that. Get out of that mindset of overthinking things. So, for somebody, you have um, somebody's definitely on the other side of some things, which is great. Let me see what else we have. Let me see what other cards we have here. Let me um, let me grab these. Let me see what other cards we have here. Very nice. Like I said, judgment is in your favor. And when I say judgment, we're talking about you breaking generational cycles, chains, and curses. The tower card is yours, and also the judgment card is yours. Let me put these side by side. So source is saying to you, you're getting messages loud and clear that you're breaking generational cycles, chains, and curses. You're closing out cycles airtight of things that you feel like are don't uh, with things that throw you out of alignment in your universe. Somebody is definitely getting away from energies that are using them or have the potential to use you for, you know, gain to some degree. And you're trying to align yourself with people who have that same, um, that same type of go get it spirit that you have, like that go getter spirit. Here, so we have the death card. We have the death card, and so something is definitely ended. Something is finally over for good. Like I said, you've closed out some cycles with some things from your past, and you're definitely moving forward. So something, some relationships that could have been overwhelming for you, emotionally overwhelming for you, that were probably hanging on by a thin thread because somebody's getting laser focused at a higher frequency, and it's starting to become crystal clear what you what you what you need to help you stay in alignment because you're trying to align yourself with other people who are in alignment with their purpose so it's been an uphill climb for somebody see how this person is climbing up here and and while you may be disappointed that you're leaving certain energies behind you're doing what's best for you so kudos and congratulations six of cups we also have the queen of cups and ace of cups all of this is water 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 so somebody's learning how to protect their creativity somebody's operating in childlike faith and having compassion for the energies that you have left behind but you got to move on to bigger and better things that's what somebody's saying somebody's like you know what i need to move on to what works best for my universe you know because i've been trying to cater to other things and that hasn't worked well for you you know in the past so Congratulations to you. Congratulations to you. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Congratulations to you. All right, so let's get in. Let's let's keep it moving forward. Let's keep it moving forward. And so that's how people have tower moments. Tower moments are these two cards, Mars. M Mars is one of your ruling planets. And like I said before, you're looking at this tower card and also this. Like I said, you've decided to close out cycles and move on with your life. Somebody has decided to move on with their life. So it's definitely a time for healing. Definitely a time for healing. Definitely a time for healing. It looks like it's just been a um it, it looks like it's just been a very interesting um journey for somebody. Like I said, leaving behind things that were disappointing for you. Um so make an altar. Make an altar to whoever. You know, you've been having dreams about it. Could be somebody who transitioned, you know, making an altar to those energies um, and having conversations, you know, with those energies, you know, having some kind of conversations with those energies. Goats. 13. So this reading is uh, this reading is for the 31st of May through the 30th of June. So 13, like 31. 3 plus 1, like 1 plus 3 equals 4. 4 is the earth number. So source wants you to get rooted and grounded. 
Fearless I am in the path I choose, for I've never been led astray, always finding my way. So this has been, something has been an uphill climb, uphill battle, you know, for some people. And again, I'm talking to you if you have Scorpio anywhere in your chart, not just your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, but anywhere in your birth chart. And so, source is saying, like I said, make a make an altar to, you know, a loved one. You you feel like 55. I am evolving. Substantial changes in your future. Embrace the change. A need to overcome your insecurities and let go of your fears. That's right. Source is trying to get somebody to learn how to take some kind of action. Especially if you've been around energies, if you've witnessed or watched energies that you see consistency there, and you feel like, okay, I, I vibe with that energy. I'm in alignment with that energy, and that's something that you want to build your legacy with, then go for it. Speak up. Somebody needs to say something. Leave all the leave all the stuff behind, all the secrets and all of that. See, this person got their um their the index finger up to their list. Like leave all the secrets and who what's gonna pop out of your past, gonna show up and all of that. If you feel like you need to have a conversation, have a conversation with somebody. You've already you already know how. Somebody already knows how somebody moves, so you know that that's not going to come up and bite you later on down the line. Some people feel like they got to have, they got to have, you know, dirt on somebody else so, and before they share. Somebody is getting to a point, really, that's like, I don't care what people know about me. If that's, if you're judging me based on my past, then you don't deserve access to my future, so. All right, let's, uh, one last part and let's close it out. And it's not even in an arrogant way. Like, if, if they weren't a part of your past and they don't really know, you know, um, and they don't really know, you know, what all the workings, the ends. And now, let's say, like, let's say, for instance, somebody pulls one of those, um, you know, like people go online, they plug in people's information or whatever, and they find out certain things. If you weren't there and you don't know all the inner workings and all the players and what happened, and you're judging people based on that, then I don't know what to tell you. It just depends on what it is. You know, of course, this is a general reading, so it just depends on what it is. If it doesn't align with your universe, it, it could be something as simple as a person was married or divorced or a person, you know, uh, I don't know, whatever, whatever you deem is like, okay, that's, that's something that I can work with. If it's something that you feel like is a non-negotiable, then move on. But if it is, then hey, okay, talk about it. Here we have success. I am attracting. These are your I am statements. These are affirmations that you can say to yourself. I am attracting everything I need. I am fully high, I'm full of highly profitable ideas. I am grounded. I am connected to my highest calling. I am pushing the boundaries of the ordinary. What's for me will always be for me. I am committed to my purpose. I am making necessary connections. I am connected to all that supports my highest good. That is what I have for you, Scorpios. And I will see you all on Friday. Bye.